Look at that! Doesn't that look like a supercar? I don't know why the camera's all- That was not- I did not test this before. <laughs> are you a fan of driving over oil and spinning out into the abyss? Or are you a part of that Dubai movement where you've got to wrap everything in gold? If so, Boy, do I have the stickers for you guys. We got our final merch drop of the year with our gold Dubai sticker so you can wrap everything you want in gold. And our oil slick sticker, which changes color. It looks cool. Anyways, links down below. It's our final merch drop of the year. Enjoy the video, guys. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 3. Last time we played this, we built this insane Tesla, which was supposed to be the Tesla Model 3. This thing has 7,000 foot-pounds of torque. If you missed the video, I'll link to it down below and you can check it out. It was absolutely insane driving this thing around, but I wanted to do something a little bit different today. We, we've we gone with the super fast route, and, and we've done that now. I wanted to change it up. So a little bit earlier in the week, you may know Racy Monkey. Racy Monkey put together an awesome video where he took a supercar and made it into an SUV, and I thought that was really interesting, but I was thinking, well, that's cool and all, but what about turning an SUV into a supercar? How hard could it be? So that is exactly what we are going to do today. My SUV of choice is going to be the Grand Cherokee SRT. This thing is an absolute monster. It was actually my first car ever in Forza Horizon 3. And we are going to turn this thing into an absolute monster. I mean, the thing's already insane, right? We're going to make it even insaner. Every good supercar needs one hell of an engine. And what engine is better than the engine from a Lexus LFA? It's one of the best sounding cars in the world. I think it's a crazy V10. How can you go wrong with that? We're also going to make it rear wheel drive because, I mean, it's a supercar. It should be rear wheel drive. And then, I mean, what would a supercar be without some twin turbos? How can you go wrong with that as well? <laughs> every good supercar. Yep, yeah, this makes sense. Every good supercar needs a front splitter and a big wang. That looks good. <laughs> Since we're rocking that LFA engine, though, we are going to need some very, very grippy tires. So we've got some uh, race compound tires. Our front tire width is going to be in... You can barely see it. We're going to go from 295. We can go all the way up to 375. I don't think we're going to do that. Let's just go up to 315. So the stock tires on a Jeep SRT is 295. That's pretty massive, actually. But we're not gonna stop there 355 is the largest size you can actually put on in the game which is pretty good those are some meaty tires but what about 395 or even 425 that looks good in my mind supercars need very very thick tires that's that we've done good there all right we need race clutches and all that stuff it is a jeep so we probably don't want it to break down and then our performance and handling every good supercar needs to be very very low so we'll Lower the ride height down. We'll come back to that in a little bit, though. Supercars also need to be really light. However, I couldn't actually figure out how to mod the weight of the car. So we're 3,700 pounds, which is not actually that bad. That's 100 pounds heavier than my Subaru. But it it's a little heavy, I'll be honest. And then we get to the power. Supercars need a bit of horsepower. So do Jeeps. We're gonna, we're gonna get some bigger turbos for this thing and take this thing from 780 horsepower, which is a lot, all the way up to... 2,274. Today's gonna be a good day, boys. Providing we actually don't spin our wheels everywhere. That would be good. Now, like I was saying, supercars need to be very, very, very low. So, we're gonna slam it down. I don't know if we're actually gonna go all the way, because, um, it actually goes way, way too low and clips into the body. Don't pay attention to that. The wheels are too big. Other than that, I think... I think we're all good. Just give it a little bit brake pressure and uh, yeah, we're good. All right, so we have our first supercar SUV. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a supercar? I don't know why the camera's all. That was not, I did not test this before. <laughs> Turns out we built a drag car. It doesn't turn. Um. Oh, wait a second. So you know how I was saying I didn't know how to change the weight of this car? Well, the weight did change and I made the engine weightless. And it just does wheelies now. <laughs> um, okay, let's uh, let's go fix that real quick. Oh, I didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> All 
All right, we should probably test this thing first before we get too far into this because if it keeps doing wheelies Yes, it doesn't do a wheelie <laughs> At least we figured out how to make one hell of a wheelie car though like that could come in handy. It is a little undrivable. It actually turned okay. Putting 2,000 horsepower and rear wheel drive together doesn't usually go super well, as we can find out. Even with those mega tires, it still spins them up in fourth gear, fifth gear. Okay, I guess every supercar at one point in its life needs to go up against another supercar. This is my favorite one, Lamborghini LP670. Let's see if we can beat this guy. I have my doubts because it's not really drivable in this configuration. I was really hoping this would actually work, but it doesn't work. We're catching up to the Lambo. Look at the power we can walk on him. Oh, he's much lighter than us. Okay, turn. This is gonna be a drag race. Fifth gear. No, no, fifth. Come on. Come on. Come on, Jeep. All right, so today we've learned we've not... See, now the supercars are... are teaming up against me to make me lose. Well, you got lucky there, sonny boy. We need to do a top speed test on this. Let's go over to the highway. Let's start all the way back here. Look how low it is. It looks epic. Actually, let's see. What does it say the top speed is? Top speed, it says is only 256. And by 56, I mean 65. Good, good, good me. Come on, Jeep. I've never said that before. Oh, there's the Malambo. He's dead now. I didn't stiffen this thing up, so it's very soft and Jeep-like. It doesn't, there's so much traffic on the road. Why am I driving in like rush hour traffic? Go Jeep, we finally have an open bit of road. Power up. He's back again. 230, 240, it feels like the front wheels are lifting off the ground. 250, come on. He's dead, we've killed another person. How do we only get two stars? This is insane, okay. Here's what I've learned. We need all wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, we probably should have realized with over 2000 horsepower that we would have needed all wheel drive. I mean, We'll just pretend this is a Lambo or something. Don't pay attention to the all-wheel driveness. It's also gonna become much heavier from this. But, ah, 10 on 10 launch, that's okay. We're like a GTR, it's all good. Until I call a GTR a supercar and then people get very offended. I love how we're not even like X-Class with this. Even though we have 2,000, what was it? 2,200 horsepower and mega tires, a rear wing and everything. It's still not like X-Class. Yeah, you can tell this was an SUV before. <laughs> it's like fully soft. Let's take this now down and see if it's at all more controllable than it was before. Look how sick it looks though. Like that splitter is touching the ground. It's epic. If that's not a supercar, I don't know what is. Pay no attention to the badge that says Jeep. That's not very supercar like, but just look at everything else. Let's see, are you gonna major wheel spin? Yes, that is an all-wheel drive burnout. You're like a rally car, actually, with how fast this thing, like, grips up. This is actually so much more drivable. Why is there so much traffic? This is mega fast, and it's also got really, really good brakes. I mean, kind of good. All right, Lambo, we're going supercar versus kind of supercar. I'm gonna try to not corner cut. All right, yeah, the Jeep's kind of heavy still. <laughs> what is going on here? Someone's just crashed into a bus. The bus just stopped on the highway. Yeah, it feels more supercar-like. In a straight line. Going around corners. Not, not so much. Come on. Oh, it sounds good, too. All right, that, that, that is pretty cool. Let's try to do a race. What is a good race? Uh, we need a good- this is a good racetrack, isn't it? And then we'll take our Jeep and put it up against some supercars and stuff. Jeep, we have some heavy hitters here. We had a LaFerrari, a Jag XJ220. For some reason, there's a silly BMW X5 here who thinks he can- or a 6 X6 who thinks he can compete. Why do we have a mini X-Raid? And why do we have a RJ Pro 2 truck? Let's see how you can do- oh, there's a K-Troom as well. Let's see how you can do against some supercars. Off the line, obviously, we are 
mega fast. Yeah, the speed is a bit OP on this. I do need to get on the brakes super early. All those guys are going to be able to go around the corners much, much faster. Yeah, there's that Ferrari. Yep, yeah, and the Jag. <laughs> it is still a heavy Jeep. I, I, okay. Does anyone out there know how to modify the weight of cars? So much so to the point where it doesn't do wheelies everywhere. All right, come on, Jeep. Every single supercar has gotten past us now. Get the power down. There we go. Be the fast Jeep I know you are. I have to stay in such a high gear or else even with the tires on this thing, it still spins them up massively. We've got a lap and a half left to go and we're in fifth place. This is not what I expected out of a 2,000 horsepower supercar. I think the problem is there is a distinct lack of downforce. Even with my mega wing, it's not that fast. <laughs> there we go, we're up onto the podium now. Third place and the infinity goes flying. How is the infinity doing this well? Like that infinity looks stupidly quick. No, no, you silly Jeep. Get the Viper before the line. Okay, that was easier than I thought. Get the Porsche before the line. Reel him in. <laughs> the speed is unreal. Ah, uh, the speed is way too good. I think we need to increase the downforce of our wing and the front splitter because it's not really acceptable like this. I mean, even though it is a bit of a failed build, it still is really, really cool to drive around in. You know, let's just raise the raise the ride height a little more. Maybe it's a bit low. There we go. And then um, uh, downforce. Yeah, let's increase this to the max. <laughs> I never thought I would be putting max cornering downforce on a Jeep SRT, but you know, yeah, that looks much better now. At least it's no longer like scrapey. Let's go try another race. So hopefully with our fixed ride height and with our extra downforce, we should be okay. I didn't even see the Pro 2 truck last time. I love how he's there like looking like, oh, what you got on your car, man? Oh, I'm all the way back here with a freaking Ram Runner. All right, we got another GT2. We got the same crew of people as last race, okay. This feels much grippier this time. It's much better. This is a supercar. Look at this. I'm in third place. Oh, shit. We're going off road. All right, Jeep. This is your land. Who would have guessed a very slam stiffened car with 2,000 horsepower wouldn't be very good off road? The understeer out of this. How is a Pro 2 truck beating me? What do you have in there? I don't know anything about this, but it, it may be some slight rubber banding going on. <laughs> yeah, just a Pro 2 truck beating an XJ220. Don't worry about it. It makes perfect sense. Yeah, so today I learned we should probably stick to the whole supercar thing using actual supercars. Because... Although the Jeep's not bad, he did just lose to a, a Pro 2 truck. Wait, what? Where'd the Pro 2 truck go? Why is the Pro 2? Wait, I'm very confused. Anyways, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap this one up here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can subscribe down below for more. Smash the like button, and I will see you guys next week with another Forza Horizon 3 mod video. I've got a bunch of crazy ideas, so make sure you're on the lookout for those. See you guys then. Bye!